the first thing and most important thing, we need to help. Uh, wherever we can, as a first measure, we spend 1 million euros to UNICEF, but that is only the start of our support to the humanitarian crisis we see in the, in the Ukraine. The second point is we have to secure our operations, spe uh, specifically for the wire harness. As you know, our plans here in Munich and Dingolfing has been standing idle this week. They will, um, albeit, continue next week already. And so we try to mitigate uh, the direct effects from the, um, from the supply chain. But uh, we are optimistic that um, in the short and midterm we can mitigate that. And the third point, equally important, is that we continue to, um, to implement our long-term strategy towards climate neutrality, to ramp up electromobility and the digitalization of our vehicle fleet. Let's get out to Annette for more. Annette, uh, just what jumps out at you at this point? Because we've got so many supply chain issues. Demand, we know, has been fairly strong for a lot of the new vehicles. What's going to be key for BMW from here? Well, actually, um, they were quite reassuring that they can source those um, those items or those pre-components, which they used to source from Russia and Ukraine, from other markets. So that's um, their main message. But in the short term, that is chopping off roughly 2% of their EBIT margin. So they are lowering their guidance. And I guess this is also key and gives us a, a certain understanding of how direct the impact on the operational business of those car producers is. Um, but <clears throat> of course, um, I had to ask him how difficult it is to make financial planning in that time of heightened uncertainty, because obviously nobody knows how the situation will unfold. Perhaps we take a listen. To make a forecast for the next couple of weeks is really difficult. But on the other hand, you know, um, production systems are very flexible and they are, react very dynamically uh, to, to changing situations. And uh, we, will, we will have to try to cope with that. Uh, to have a real forecast is very difficult. On the other hand, on the 2022 outlook overall, we foresee, as, as it is current, uh, to be on the same level on, on, on sales than in the past year. You know, that's our current thing. Um, on, the, on the profit side, we will have an EBIT of 7 to 9 percent. And, uh, but uh, for other reasons, the pre-tax profit will be significantly higher this year compared to last year.